Hi everyone, this is Merle Strom. I hope you enjoyed the Candy Crush Saga hard level videos that I posted these past few days. I used to post both hard and easy levels in sequence. I noticed early this year that I have been getting more and more behind in posting, playing the game and preparing the videos that I recorded for upload at the same time, so I decided to post just the hard ones that you, my friendly viewers, can appreciate. I also included a preview clip of the next level in the video annotation screen at the end of each game video. I know that you enjoy playing Candy Crush as much as I do. Have you ever checked Candy Crush Saga's website recently to get news and information related to the game? If you haven't done yet, you are in the right place. I will not be talking about the game level how to's in this video. Instead, I will be talking about Candy Crush Saga in the future and what we need to do in reference to the evolving technology and the changes that will happen in the year 2020. Currently, Candy Crush Saga and a few other online games are still using Adobe Flash Player and plugins. What is Adobe Flash Player? Adobe Flash Player is a multimedia software platform that runs from a web browser like Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, formerly known as Internet Explorer, and Firefox to name a few. Flash Player has long played a major role in web interactive and creative contents from videos to games and more. It was originally created by Macromedia, which was acquired by Adobe Systems on December 3, 2005. Security vulnerabilities, too many versions, and short battery life for laptops and other mobile devices have been some of the major issues with Adobe Flash Player. On July 25, 2017, Adobe Systems announced that it will no longer distribute and support Adobe Flash Player by the end of 2020 in favor of HTML5. What is HTML5? HTML5 stands for Hypertext Markup Language, version 5. It has been designed to deliver almost everything you want to do online, such as animations, games, music, as well as movies from your web browser. It can handle high-definition videos and can deliver outstanding graphics. Let's go back to our main topic, which is Candy Crush Saga, its future in gaming, and what it suggests that we do to make sure that our browser is ready for the change. As I said, if you haven't visited the Candy Crush Saga website for news and information about our favorite game, you are at the right place. This morning, as I was working with my new video project, I came across Candy Crush Saga's website. I saw the HTML5 icon in its webpage with the message that they are converting their games on Facebook and the Kingdom to run HTML5 on desktop. I'm very much familiar with both Adobe Flash Player and HTML5 as its replacement which prompted me to post this video. I have three YouTube video postings in relation to these topics. As a player, you don't want your game to be interrupted because your browser is not ready or prepared for this change as it takes effect. If you are a Google Chrome browser user, there is no problem because Google has been pushing for HTML5 for over a year now, blocking sites needing to run Flash starting with the old Chrome version 56 to the current version 68. Currently, the default Flash setting is set to Ask First. 
It is true, Chrome users will have to give permission to allow sites to run Flash. Now let me show you how to test your browser for HTML5 compatibility. Here we are at the Candy Crush Saga website. When you click on HTML5 link below this page, you will be directed to KingCare blog titled, Is Your Browser Ready for HTML5? It explains the benefits of having this open platform with fewer security risk, using less energy to run in your computer. Of course, less energy means longer battery life for laptops and other mobile devices and running games faster and more efficiently. On the fourth paragraph of what does it mean for you is a link where you can check your browser for compatibility. Your browser should score 450 points or more to be compatible. If not, it is time to install a new one. Here are the browsers that King Care recommends from left to right are Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, Opera, and Safari. Now let's move back and click on the link on how to test browser's compatibility. The first score that you're seeing right now is for my own Windows default browser, Google Chrome. As I said earlier, you don't have to worry if this is your default browser because Google is one of the first, if not the first one, who was pushing and encouraging web developers to switch over to this platform. For comparison, I will be adding the other browsers that King Care recommended to compare them with Google Chrome. Next in line is Microsoft Edge. So let's pick the latest version on the list. The third one is Firefox. The fourth one is Opera. Last but not the least is Safari. I'm not going to tell you which one to pick based on their score. It is best that you pick the one that you are comfortable with. Hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button at the bottom of your viewing screen. If you haven't done so and would like to subscribe, please do so before leaving my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.